in downtown Hartford. Over 16,000 have crammed into this facility to watch the Big Ten versus the Big East. It's Indiana red hot against the young UConn Huskies. Let's take a look at today's singular in-game analysis. Make shots and play with poise for Indiana. Guard the three-point line for UConn, and who can get easy baskets? Post-ups, transition scores, and second-chance points. Today's game is brought to you in high-definition television by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high-definition television and mobile media. So, UConn, Indiana, both 13-4. and four. Let's take a look at the Hoosiers, their best player, D.J. White. Five double-doubles to lead the Big Ten this season. He's coming off a double-double against Iowa and some changes in the starting lineup for Connecticut. Doug Wiggins, a freshman, he's 6'1", from East Hartford, gets his first career start. So the toss and the tap controlled by the Huskies. Here's Wiggins in the front court. And what should we pay attention to early on, Clark? Well, execution in the half court for the Huskies. And they also would like to get out in transition a little more. I think they've been playing well enough defensively to get more wins than they've had recently. They're going to have to execute at the offensive end. Jerome Dyson on the baseline. Now Adrian off the dribble. He's their captain. Baseline jump shot short. Rebounded Wiggins inside, no look pass out of bounds. A little too hot for the distance between him and the expected receiver, which was Stanley Robinson. So Indiana is coming off a 71 to 64 win against Iowa on Tuesday. DJ White 23 and 12 career high in points and rebounds. The Hoosiers have won eight of their last nine, including four straight as Armand Bassett, talented freshman from Terre Haute, Indiana, knocks down his first jump shot. He is as steady as running water, Gus. He has a sweet stroke. He's a 40% three-point shooter, close to a two-to-one assist to turnover ratio, and he takes and makes big shots. Connecticut coming off a 63-54 loss Tuesday to Pitt. The Panthers rank number six. They'll take on Marquette tomorrow on CBS. Connecticut losers of four of their last six. Pitt, Marquette, LSU, and West Virginia. D.J. White posting up on Thabit, the young man from Tanzania. Baseline jump shot strong. And Thabit with the rebound. Here comes Wiggins in transition. Quickly down the lane. Lays it off. And out of bounds. Well, that's what you want to see from UConn if you're Jim Calhoun. Off a rebound, push it up quickly and try to beat the Hoosiers' solid half-court defense down the floor. Inside Dyson, jump hook short. Nice challenge by D.J. White. Wide open down low is White. And that's Mike White, junior college White. transfer out of Lee College, making his first start today. And he is a banger. Well, Lance Stemmler has really struggled shooting the ball. He typically starts for Indiana. Kelvin Sampson on a hunch decided to give Mike White the start and a nice push ahead by Earl Calloway and Mike White doing a nice job to use the rim to avoid the shot blocking to beat. So Mike White, he's a hard worker as well, lost 50 pounds. His body really starting to take great shape. Average 17 his freshman year at Lee College, 19 his sophomore year. He's a guy that is not afraid of physical contact, and he plays much bigger than he's listed because he has such a long wingspan, such a wide wingspan. So Wiggins driving. There's Kelvin Sampson, first year as the head coach at Indiana. He comes over from Oklahoma. He led the Sooners to 11 NCAA tournament appearances, three Sweet 16s, two Elite Eights, and a Final Four. Whistle inside. And this will go against the Huskies. On the other sideline, Hall of Famer, Jim Calhoun, 10 and 7 all time against the Big Ten, 12th all time winning his coach. He's currently tied with Fog Allen, and he's two wins away from 500 at UConn in his 21st season. That's it again, and he hits it. And you talked about it earlier with me before the game. This Indiana team loves to shoot the three-pointer. When they make 10 or more three-point field goals in a game, Gus, they are 5-1. and one. They're defending extremely well in the half court. They're executing their offense. They've become much more comfortable in the last few weeks with running their half court offense. And Wiggins knocks down the running jump shot inside. Wiggins getting an opportunity to start his first career start for the freshman because he brings a great energy level 
according to Calhoun to his team. And also A.J. Price, the typical starter, has a bruised iris as Indiana on fire early. They've made four of their first, they've scored on four of their first five possessions, and Bassett again splashes the jump shot. Indiana, 37% shooting team from the three-point line. Inside, Adrian. Pulled down by Wilmot. Keep your eye on number 10, Roderick Wilmot. He's a fifth-year senior from Miramar, Florida. He has off-the-bus range. <laughs> Took 17 threes in a game earlier this year at 25 points against Penn State. Inside, there's D.J. White, and he has it blocked, but fouled by Thabit. Well, good penetration here by Indiana. This is Bassett, who has knocked down a couple of jump shots, so his defender runs out at him off balance. Penetration, fine. And that's a pretty strong denial up top. Not much contact there from where I sit. Maybe a little bit below, but up top on the ball, that was a good play by Thabit. So Thabit picking up his first foul, and a sub quickly coming into the game for Connecticut. Wiggins heads out. And A.J. Price, the sophomore from Amityville, New York, Coming out of high school, what a great player. Averaged 28 points a game, got in some trouble. And also battled a life-threatening illness, had bleeding on his brain. He's struggling to get his confidence back. And when he gets it back, he's going to be a heck of a player here at UConn. Well, I think he's in the game earlier than anticipated simply because Doug Wiggins was having a tough time keeping track of Armand Bassett. Connecticut turns it over for the third time. Wilmot in the front court, almost threw it away and does. It's over and back. Calloway can't hustle it down. And Earl Calloway may have hurt his foot as he limps over to the sideline. And he'll check out of the game. A.J. Ratliff replaces him. Ratliff has been on a tear of late, Gus. In his last three ball games, he's made 70% of his shots from the floor, 14 of 20. 10 of 15 of those shots have been behind the three-point arc. He's had 38 points wow. in 55 minutes of action. That is terrific production in limited time. Baseline, Marcus Johnson just checked in, fires a brick. Mike White with the rebound. And here comes Armand Bassett. Honorable mention on McDonald's All-America out of Terre Haute. Wilmot. Pops out, lets it go, has it blocked. Robinson, the talented freshman from Alabama, can't hold on. Picked up by Bassett. Shot clock resets for the Hoosiers. 13 and 4, 1 and 3 on the road this season. Indiana, their only loss is coming to Butler, Duke, Kentucky, and Ohio State. And there's Wilmot. He hits his first shot, and Jim Calhoun has to talk it over. Indiana. Leads this series four games to two. And the Hoosiers lead it 16 to four here in the first half. Fifteen eighteen remaining in the first half. Indiana looks terrific as they start this game. Gus Johnson along with Special K, Clark Kellogg from the Hartford Civic Center. And for the Indiana Hoosiers. 4 of 14, 4 of 4, excuse me, from the three-point line. Now let's take a look at the State Farm drive to 65 last season. The George Mason Colonials stunned the college basketball world by beating Michigan State, North Carolina, Wichita State, and Connecticut to advance to the final four. Who will be this year's George Mason? That's the question I want to ask you. Well, there are a number of teams out there when you consider non-power conference teams that could very well make a run in this year's tournament. Butler comes to mind, Air Force, a team of that caliber, UNLV under Lon Kruger, again from a from a non-power conference. And you look at some of the teams, Winthrop, Missouri State, Hofstra, I did mention Air Force and UNLV, and added a couple of bonus names for <laughs> you as well <laughs> for the viewers out there locked into that kind of stuff. But these teams are off to really strong starts and are very, very good teams. That was the drive to 65 presented by State Farm. Indiana scoring eight unanswered points and for Jim Calhoun. What a great coach, obviously a Hall of Famer. 
It's going to take some time for these talented young players, eight freshmen, five sophomores, to figure out how to win games. Not only how to win games, but how to trust one another, how to use one another. They try to do an awful lot of their scoring off the dribble as opposed to movement and screens. And part of that is just playing an immature type game. And there's no way to get that maturity other than to earn it. Johnson on the baseline. That's a high percentage shot. Marcus Johnson, the sophomore from Los Angeles, Westchester High School. This is what Indiana wants to do. They don't want to get into a windshield wiper game. That would favor UConn with their depth and their deep. Hey, wait! My goodness! I think his foot has healed. I talked to him before the game. I said, what's been the difference in your last four games? He said, it's simply confidence. I feel strong, and I feel confident, and that's going to the hole with power. <laughs> Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. What, are you going in for a checkup? Well, I'm upgrading to Vista today, which cool. is great, but I get a little nervous when they mess around with my insides. Well, what do you mean? Is it just straightforward? Not really. Like a lot of PCs, I have to update my graphics card, my memory. If I want the premium package, I need a faster processor. It's major surgery. I'm sorry about that. Listen, Mac, if I don't come back, I want you to have my peripherals. Oh, come on. PC, you're not good. Ah, speaking of peripherals... This Lexus IS over 4,000 feet in a matter of seconds. This Lexus IS will attempt to cover the same distance even faster. The 306 horsepower Lexus IS 350. So much for gravity. Attractive leases available on all 2007 IS models for a limited time at your Lexus dealer. If your wealth isn't working for you, then neither is your financial advisor. Smith Barney Financial Advisors have, on average, 16 years of industry experience. We don't sell our own mutual funds, so we can offer independent advice. And only Smith Barney Financial Advisors have direct access to the depth of Citigroup's global resources. Experience, independence, depth. Come to Smith Barney, where wealth works. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Michelob Ultra Amber, the new look of light beer. Esurance, take a fresh look at your auto insurance. Compare and save at Esurance today. And by Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be there. Well, we take a look at milestone weeks of teams ranked in the top 25 in Wisconsin. Highest ranking in their school's history. How about Virginia Tech? Knocking off both North Carolina and Duke in a matter of about eight, nine days. Duke only 14th ranked this week, and that's the lowest one since 99. And Air Force, the AFA, the Air Force Academy. You may not have had a chance to see them play yet, Gus, but they're enjoyable to watch. Everybody passes and handles. They spread you out. They shoot the three. They don't make many mistakes with the ball. And defensively, they play a lot of Jekyll and Hyde type stuff. You know, they mix it up nicely. Jeff Bizdelic doing a nice job with that club. Former head coach for the Denver Nuggets. I remember Coach Bizdelic when he was a scout in the Washington Wizards organization. And he has turned out to be a terrific college basketball coach at Air Force in Colorado Springs. D.J. White adding the free throw. 19-6. Hoosiers with the lead. Wilmot almost coming up with a steal. Well, one of the things you like to do when you go in a hostile environment and you're on the road is to make the environment fan free. And you can do that by starting as quickly and as effectively as the Hoosiers have here. Nice job by the beat. That's one of the things we talked about as a singular key 
Second chance points, points in the paint. Who can get more of those? The three-point shooting right now favoring the Hoosiers, and that's why they're on top by 11. Hashim Thabit, he's a seven-footer, averaging four blocks a game. Didn't start playing basketball until he was about 14, 15 years old. And he has the potential to be a very solid player for Jim Calhoun. He really does, Gus, because he has good feet, decent hands, and he's got a work ethic that's second to none. So he's eager to get better. And he'll get that opportunity under Coach Jim Calhoun's teaching. Here's Bassett, three of three from the three-point line. Finds D.J. Whitey, wants contact, gets inside, gets his own rebound, and draws a foul. One Boy. thing that's fun to watch sometimes is when you see a big man, D.J. White is 6'9", but he's like you. When you were at Ohio State, he can really handle the ball, especially from the free throw line and down. Being able to create your own shot in traffic is important. It adds to your versatility. I would like to see D.J. go to his right shoulder with the left hand. He shot that ball. He got a good look at it, but he took that ball right back into the face of the defender because he didn't want to use the left hand there. The beat picks up his second foul. Coach Calhoun allows him to stay in the game. Trying to teach the young man how to play with fouls. Good point, Doug. He's taking on one of the best players in the Big Ten. Now posts up. B.J. White draws a double. Lost it. Picked up. Adrian on the move. Here comes Johnson. Bam! Marcus Johnson with his second slam dunk. And the Connecticut Huskies are down by nine. Earl Calloway has a foot injury. His return for Indiana is unknown right now. Wilmot for three, and that'll quiet the crowd. Roger Wilmot, six points now, two threes. Price the other day, other way, excuse me. And it's tracked down by Johnson. Doug Wiggins restarts the offense. Price. Johnson curling. And a whistle. The Huskies need to do more of this. Good double team on the post. They force a turnover. Now they're in the open court where that exuberance and athleticism can have a full canvas in which to paint its picture. And Marcus Johnson finishes it with authority. But transition basketball has always been a big part of what Connecticut does. They've not been as good at that early in the season, in part because they are so young. Running lanes doesn't mean just you go anywhere you want to. You've got to build lanes, understand timing and spacing. And that time they did a good job off of good defense to get a basket in transition. Adrian inside, rejected. And that's Mike White. Swatting that one out of bounds. And when you look at what Kelvin Sampson has done already in Indiana, you have to be impressed. They will D you up. Yes, sir. And the one number that coaches like to look at is field goal percentage defense, which I underlined. Anytime you keep that around 40% opponent field goals shooting, 40% or less, you're going to give yourself an excellent chance to win. Right now, UConn only at 42%, 5 of 12 shooting so far. Kelvin Sampson. It was a while, but he earned his bones the traditional way. Montana Tech, Washington State, Oklahoma, and now replacing Mike Davis at Indiana. Mike Davis at UAB. I remember when Coach Sampson was at Washington State, he had a kid by the name of Isaac Fontaine. <laughs> he loved that name. Oh, boy. He had a little game as well. Boy, he though. could play. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, he could really play. There are some names that you just that you like never to say forget. Exactly. as an announcer. And a whistle. Foul on the baseline. This will go against Indiana. 11.59 to play. First half. Hoosiers up 22 to 10. Get ready to be lifted into a world of beautiful music and experience a new journey with Celtic Woman. Right for the Celtic Woman are the music and voices behind this spectacular brand new show, A New Journey, available on Deluxe CD. Celtic Woman, A New Journey showcases the spirited fiddle of Moraine and the angelic voices of Chloe, Lisa, Maeve, Orla, and their newest member, Haley Westenra. 
A new journey is Celtic Woman's brand new album, featuring a unique blend of contemporary hits, original songs, and Irish classics. Call now and get the special deluxe CD edition with 16 stirring songs plus four bonus tracks. You also get this silver clad a charm, the Irish symbol for love, loyalty, and friendship, only available in this special deluxe CD. Celtic Woman, a new journey is unlike anything you've ever experienced. Get swept away by the pure, graceful voices of Celtic Woman. Share Celtic Woman, a new journey on deluxe CD with family and loved ones. And when you order, ask how you can also own the live concert DVD. Call now to order Celtic Woman on deluxe CD for $21.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. And ask about the DVD. Call now or order online at tvatlas.com. Rush delivery available. The homeless guy, fashion stylist, computer geek. Fitted against each other. Somebody's watching and laughing. New Survivor premieres CBS Thursday, February 8th. You know, when you consider the strength of a conference, you start by looking at the top. What elite level teams are there? Where in the Pac-10, you've got Arizona. You've got Oregon, who has been very impressive so far this season. And the UCLA Bruins got to the championship game a year ago and looked like they might have the capability to do that again as well. And I know it's a little early as we move towards the drive to 65, the road to the final Final Four, but some people are already starting to think that maybe the Pac-10 could warrant eight NCAA tournament teams. The Big East had eight teams last year. But Washington with the one and five conference start is going to have to do some major work. Now, the schedule flips a little bit in conference play. You go through stretches where you play four out of six on the road and so forth. But that evens out. And Washington has been on the road more than most teams in the Pac-10 thus far. Stanley Robinson, the freshman from Birmingham, Alabama. His nickname is Hogo Sticks <laughs> because he's a great athlete with the bucket. Here's DJ White inside, elevates and knocks one down. Well, you talk about Stanley Robinson being called Pogo Sticks. They call him Sticks. And I asked him about it. He said, I got that name in middle school from a football coach. <laughs> he said he played every position in football. Linebacker, wide receiver, did it all. And he certainly does have the bounce of a Pogo Stick and the potential to be a star player in this league. Average eight points and five rebounds on the United States national team under 18. Inside, D.J. White again. Halfway down, pops out. Robinson with the rebound. He finds Wiggins his point guard. 24-12. Indiana with the lead. Indiana 5 for 5 from the three-point line. And the Huskies turn it over. Earl Callaway back in the game. Wilmot. He gets it back to Callaway. Callaway's been playing some excellent basketball. Had eight points and eight assists against Iowa. And he's turning out to be a very nice setup point guard. This team is 8-1 since he started back in the lineup after not starting against Kentucky, and D.J. White lays one in. Right on cue there, Gus. Excellent pass by Callaway, and the points you make about him not starting against Kentucky. I actually was courtside for that game, and that was the beginning of what I call Earl Callaway getting urgent-itis. They're senior-itis, and you just kind of go through the motions, and you think you do something because you're a senior. Then there's urgent-itis when you get on board and recognize that the finish line is near, and I better handle my business effectively if I'm going to maximize it, and I think that's where Earl Callaway is now. D.J. White so aggressive to start this game. Gets his own rebound, can't hang on. Wiggins in transition. Connecticut with numbers. Wiggins, nice look to Robinson. Calvin Sampson does not like this. He knew that UConn would try to beat them in transition. He talked about it. Not happy with his team's transition defense right now.
tomorrow, the NFL on CBS hits the last stop before Miami. Tom Brady and the Pats take on Peyton Manning and the Colts in the AFC Championship. The hoopla begins with Greg, Dan, Shannon, and Boomer on a special playoff edition of the NFL today here on the home of Super Bowl 41 CBS Sports. And this game, Clark, has oh, all sorts my. of potential, man. I know you're a big Indianapolis Colts oh, fan. Oh, man, I want to see the Colts get it done. <laughs> it won't be easy, though. How about Tom Brady last week? San Diego scores. The cameras flashed to Brady on the sideline with his teammates and said, come on, let's go, guys. We're about to score. Yeah. And he marches him right down the field. That man has unbelievable confidence. And poise. He's done it countless times. Very, very good early career. He's a Michigan man. Oh, don't start there. <laughs> don't go there, on me, Gus. Sports fans, the CBS Sports Store has a huge selection of officially licensed team apparel and collectibles. Get the very latest gear from your favorite team now at CBSSportsLine.com. Oh, you got it. 26 14 Indiana. On top of Connecticut, inside Marcus Johnson, and he attacks once again and banks it in. Jim Calhoun and his staff would like to find a way to increase Marcus Johnson's minutes, and I think he's going to earn, he's going to force them to play him more. He's only averaging about 20 minutes a game right now, but he's been a nice spark off the bench so far today. 26-16, back after this. When my brother started selling auto insurance, I, I got a little pressure to use them. A little? I'm State Farm Agent Amy Kaplan, and this is a true story. I didn't pressure you. I just, I think blood is thicker than water. So is some of the staff. We switched from State Farm to him. This service is horrible. Well, he wouldn't call me back, and he's my brother. So I called him, and he was ready to switch back. State Farm treated us like family. Yeah, better. Great service and great rates, it's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Kellogg's crunch time here as we take a look at some things the Huskies have to do to be a better team than they are today. Ripen up, that means just simply get older. Half-court execution, talked about that so far this half. And then they've got to rebound and run, and they have been able to do a little bit of that, in part because Indiana's got the ball inside the DJ White. He's had good shots, shot opportunities, but haven't, hasn't converted. And the quick shots not converted have given Connecticut a chance to get out and run a little bit. Take a look at DJ White. Played in only five games last year because of a foot injury. He is 100% healthy, thought about transferring. But Kelvin Sampson was able to convince him that Indiana University is the place for him. He is really developing into a major talent in the Big Ten Conference, leads the conference with five double-doubles. Inside, Mike White has it stripped out of his hands and a push on the baseline, foul call on Mike White as he fouls Jerome Dyson, freshman from Rockville, Maryland. And Mike White picks up his second. Now a substitute coming in, Lance Stemmler. Normally a starter, he's a junior college transfer from Columbia, Illinois, but he's coming off the bench, Mike White replacing him. As you mentioned, Stemmler struggling with his shot a little bit. And that will send Jerome Dyson to the line to shoot free throws. Boy, Indiana over the limit already. So that's a... Dyson at the line from Rockville. And according to some of his coaches, he reminds them of, of Ben Gordon, almost. Well, he's got that kind of slashing ability with the ball. Shot selection has been a problem, and that's not unexpected for a first-year player. Figuring out how to get his game off is one of the challenges for freshmen in high-level Division I basketball. D.J. White with 11 points in the first half. Remember, he's coming off a career high in points and rebounds, 23 and 12 against Iowa on Tuesday. He was 10 of 13 from the field, also had a couple of blocks. Indiana going to the 2-3 zone, I think, to try not to allow penetration off the dribble by the Huskies. Johnson, no. Adrian is there, and he draws a foul. Good foul by Joey Shaw. 7.53 to play first half. Hoosiers lead it 28-16. The level of technology is unmatched by any other car I've driven. 
It's luxurious. It handles the road extremely well. The car is, is simple, intuitive. My father always told me to buy the best. You'll never be disappointed. And this is the best. In the front, you're in a race car. In the back, you're in a limousine. It does exactly what I expect it to do, and it's consistent at all times. No matter how bad the snow is coming down, I feel very comfortable that I'll get home safely. I hit a patch of ice, and the car started careening towards the divider on the highway, and I really thought I was going to crash. The car's controls took over, and it saved my life. If I had not been in the car I was in, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The way it makes you feel. From massage seats to heated seats. It's hard to drive anything else. It's fast. It's elegant. It's sleek. It just makes you feel so secure. You get behind the wheel of that car and you feel like you're king. It's the only car that I will ever drive. With Dell, no middlemen means no runaround. So nothing slows my business down. I get just the technology I want from someone who's always there to answer for it. No excuses. And that's what I really needed. A partner who's as quick and responsive as the bikes we build. It's your enterprise. So every Dell solution is purely you. Forget what you think you know about light beers. Because they never looked like this or tasted like this. Introducing Michelob Ultra Amber with a deep amber color and full-flavored taste. The world of light beer just got a little darker. Michelob Ultra Amber, the new look of light beer. All right, let's take a look at the game summary. Indiana off to a terrific start. Five for five from the three-point line. Connecticut, though, scoring in the paint with 14 points in the paint. Gus Johnson along with Special K, Clark Kellogg. And Clark, what I really like about Kelvin Sampson's teams, going all the way back to when I first saw him at Washington State, they always play at the same intensity level. Yeah, that's a great observation by you, Gus, and it really is the identity that Kelvin's teams play with, and it starts in practice. He is diligent about repeating how important it is to play at a certain intensity level, and it's ingrained in his teams in practice, how they go through shoot-around, and it becomes a habit. Otherwise, you won't play, and he demands it. He exudes it. He expects it, and he gets it. So Jeff Adrian at the free throw line. He's from Brookline, Mass., one of the veterans on this team. He's the captain. And Jeff Adrian is only a sophomore. On the season, averaging 13 points, 10 rebounds a game. He was the eighth man last year. And actually trying to learn how to be the go-to guy. That's the book on it. Well, we'll take a look as soon as we open it up. Second chance, man. He really bangs that offensive glass. He's a double-double almost every time he steps on the floor. Would like to see him be a little more assertive, which he's learning how to do. Sometimes people expect guys who have been in a program for a year or two in one role, and then the role changes from complimentary guy to marquee guy, that that happens automatically. It doesn't. You have to learn how to go about handling that additional responsibility and pressure. Galloway driving off balance. Price with the rebound. He rakes it and takes it into the front court. Price off the bounce. And we've got an eight-point game. What you're seeing, Gus, Indiana would like to play in the half court. It's a battle of tempo. UConn wants to play a little faster and in the open court. Stemler in the corner. Halfway down, pops out. Adrian with the rebound. He ripped it out of there. Here come the Huskies. Price. And Indiana gets back on defense. And the man now by the Hoosiers. Curtis Kelly has checked in. He's number 14. Uh, Queens inside. Adrian drops step. 10 to shoot for Price as he backs it up and restarts. 7 to shoot. Turns the corner. Fire. Adrian is there. Can't lay it in. Loose. Up and in for 
Curtis Kelly. Ten to run for UConn. DJ White. And White on the baseline, too strong. Weak side rebound goes to Kelly. UConn really rebounding now. Connecticut, 10 of 23 from the field, 43%. like this breakfast bistro sandwich. Oh, this bacon great. is great. Well, you know, in Italy, bacon is called pancetta. How do you know that? As a guy, I pretty much know everything there is to know about bacon. It's encoded into our DNA at birth. I have some things encoded on my DNA. Oh, yeah? I like I'm able to sense when you're just full of it. Bacon breakfast bistro sandwich, only at Sonic. Bacon, eggs, and cheese on toasted ciabatta bread. Try one with the cranberry juice or any other juice, because Sonic is your ultimate drink stop. Start your Monday with the show critics call one of the most hilarious comedies on television. Don't miss a new How I Met Your Mother. Monday at 8, 7 central on CBS. Gus Johnson along with Clark Kellogg. 28-24, Indiana with the lead. Indiana has led by as many as 14 points. Eight unanswered points for the Huskies. Part of a 12-2 run. 10 points for the Connecticut bench. Well, one of the things that we talked about at the top is this is a young team, but it also has pretty good depth. And that depth is starting to show itself here as UConn has been able to fall back into this game. Also, scoring in transition and getting points in the paint, negating the three-point shooting advantage that Indiana has had. Good defense by Jerome Dyson on the foul call. And it looks like this will go against Curtis Kelly. His first. A.J. Ratliff has that left wrist tape. Injured it, missed a couple of games because of it. May have yeah, aggravated yeah, a bit on that possession because he hit the deck and tried to break his fall with his hand. Injured that wrist against Ball State. Had some torn ligament, ligaments. Four-point game. Armand Bassett, who started strong, hitting his first three shots. Nine points. He hasn't attempted a shot since. Well, he got the attention of the Huskies' perimeter defender. Ratliff will go to the line. And that foul called on Wiggins is first. Foul well, number three, Doug Wiggins. First personal foul, fifth on the team. Fifth team three foul called against Ratliff Connecticut. So that will send. A.J. Ratliff to the line. He's a junior from Indianapolis. This is the first. David Spade stars in a new comedy about being single, being married, and all points in between. Rules of Engagement premieres Monday, February 5th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on CBS. Ratliff playing some good ball. At 14 against Penn State, 16 against Purdue. It's the second. Yeah, he's grimacing that left wrist was aggravated when he hit the floor on the last possession prior to drawing the foul. Zone defense here. The Hoosiers in a bit of foul trouble. That's one way to try to protect your team. Adrian leans in. No. Kelly is there for the stick back. But points in the paint is where UConn has been able to fall back in it, Gus. They are dominating the action in the colored area at their offensive end. E.J. White, 4 of 10 from the field, 11 points. Backdoor cut inside. And that's Mike White has it stripped out of his hands. No call with under five to play. One question for you. When you see a player like A.J. Ratliff, he has his wrist taped up. Obviously, in the scouting report, it says that that wrist is bothering him. As an opponent, do you test it to see if it's good? Well, I don't know if you intentionally do that. That steps a little bit outside of the bounds of good competitive sportsmanship from my vantage point. But some people would look at it and say, I'll take any advantage I can. Great block by Stanley Robinson. His second block of the game. 
Three-point lead for the Hoosiers. He's led by as many as 14 on the road. Connecticut looking for a signature win. Here's Robinson. Lost it. Picked up by Wilmot. Six turnovers for the Huskies. Pass it, skip pass, Wilmot. To the bucket, the kick, pass it deep. Mike White, rebound. And Robinson gets it. Outlet to Wiggins. He's got Dyson with the Wiggins, and he draws the foul. But what a block by Stanley Robinson. They call him Sticks, Pogo Sticks. Guess why? Give it here. <laughs> I want that thing now. Three-point game in Hartford. Honey, look at this. Is it for all of us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The magic begins when you realize you can afford a Disney vacation. Other affordable packages all year long. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash affordable. This car is packed with technology. But I find it very easy to use. The car is, is simple, intuitive. It's elegant. It's beautiful. The way it makes you feel, the safety, the security, the comfort. We walked away from the accident because of that car. The car's an absolute rocket. Just a wonderful car to drive. You get what you pay for, it's that simple. When I was a kid, I thought these cars were the most beautiful in the world. And I still do. Are you picking up the kids? Oh, well, I thought you were going to, honey, but I can't, which means that I'm going to have to cut my day short. I had a lot of errands I had. Hun? If a call is dropped with a long-winded talker, chances are they haven't noticed this. Drop call etiquette says call the person back immediately. Act like you heard what they said. Then let them continue their conversation, domination, with minimum interference. Or you could just switch to the network with the fewest dropped calls. Singular. Raising the bar. Now buy a Samsung phone and get three free. You're watching the NCAA on CBS. It's TV's favorite comedy. How smart do you have to be to have sex? It's not that you have to be particularly smart. Yeah, yeah look, look at, at your, your dad. dad. <laughs> New Two and a Half Men, CBS Monday. All right, a look at the singular in-game analysis once again. Well, we talked about three-point shooting, poison perimeter. You see Indiana off to a decent start, five or seven behind the arc. Points in the paint, though. It's all UConn. I call those pips. Points in the paint. And UConn dominating in the pips category. Marcus, Marcus Johnson. He's playing Gladys. <laughs> that was Curtis Kelly on the putback. And here he is again. And don't forget, coming up at halftime, Craig Gumbel and Seth Davis will get you up to date on all the action going on today. That's all coming up on Singular at the half. How about Jim Calhoun? When you think about the players he's coached, Cliff Robinson, Ray Allen, Rip Hamilton, Ben Gordon, Khalid el -Amin, Rudy Gay, Josh Boone, Marcus Williams, Hilton Armstrong Jr. He coached the great Reggie Lewis. Danielle Marshall. Oh, I forgot about Danielle Marshall. Plenty of outstanding talent. Chris Smith, the all-time leading scorer here. Scott Perrell, Perron Butler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A long, long list. Move. Four players drafted in the first round. One in the second, Denim Brown with the Sonics. And Jim Calhoun. One of the great college basketball coaches on planet Earth. 29-27. Indiana on top of UConn. Hoosiers is, have led by as many as 14, and they turn it over. Here comes Wiggins. He's got Robinson with them. Robinson elevates, and we're tied at 29. Well, a terrific comeback here by the home team Huskies. They've done it with defense, and they've done it by attacking in the open court and dominating the points in the paint. 17-3 run for UConn. D.J. White inside, and he powers it up and banks it home. Boy, you love to see that. Your leading scorer, your best player, 
Things have been a little bit bumpy for you, and you go right to him, and he gives you a bucket. Robinson. Nine points for Stanley Robinson. UConn with a 32-31 lead. And once again, Clark, how have they done it after being down by 14 points? Well, they've shut down the three-point shooting. They've done a much better job being attentive to detail in guarding shooters. They've rebounded effectively. Their defense has been pesky and active, and they've been able to get into the open court, and they've gotten second-chance points. And a whistle. Now coming up on Adrian, trying to keep D.J. White out of the paint as he tried to post up. Forearm shiver by Adrian, who played some football in high school. Wide receiver. Bassett checks out, rebounded on their body. By Earl Calloway. And then you think about Calloway, he had that foot injury or he tweaked something and left the game. And he's the guy who kind of orchestrates what Indiana likes to do in the half court. That looks good from Wilmot, just a little short. Kelly snatches it down. Here comes Wiggins, pushing it straight to the bucket for the freshman. No, but Adrian is there for the foul. 34 to 31. Connecticut growing up right in front of our eyes. Well, how about how quick Wiggins got that ball from defense to offense? Wilmot knocked away by Robinson. What an athlete. They call him Sticks. He's got bounce, and that time he had his hands in the right place. This defense by the Huskies has really been active. Really has been active. They've been moving their feet. They've been active with their hands. They've been physical, and there's Robinson. Wilmot telegraphing that pass. You've got to throw passes where defenders aren't. And Wilmot looked right where he was going to throw that one, and Stanley Robinson had an easy steal. Great line for Robinson so far. He took over for Marcus Johnson in the starting lineup. Coach Calhoun quoted as saying, this kid is playing so well, he had to get him more minutes. And we can see why. Wiggins checks out. He's done a fine job in his first career start for Price today, who replaces him. Stanley Robinson, second free throw. Got it. 36-31. Robinson checks out. Listen to this crowd. He's only a freshman. 11 points for Robinson. And four carries. Under two to play. UConn on a 24-5 run. Callaway. White slips to the baseline and knocks down the jump shot. That's the shot he's got in his book bag, Gus. He can post you up, but he also can step away and knock down that jump shot facing you. Adrian baseline jump shot trying to answer. Rebounded by Joey Shaw. And a whistle. Kelly call for the foul, and that's his second. And I think Jeff Adrian going to take a seat because of how quickly he took a poor shot 14, from that Kelly last trip foul. down at the offensive end for the Huskies. Joey Shaw, one and one. Shaw at the line. And he gets a free throw to go. Let's take a closer look at Joey Shaw. He's always active. His minutes have fluctuated because he doesn't defend as well as Sam Samson wants him to. He's sneaky in how he can score. He can shoot the three and get in the lane. Obviously, a few LBs would help. <laughs> get him at that training table at Indiana. He's a red shirt freshman, but he's got nice instincts. And he's had some of his biggest games in limited playing time. I mean, he's had a number of double-digit games. I saw him get. I think he had 18 against, 16 against Ohio State in limited time. He's had 14 in a game. So had 19 against Purdue. Mm -hmm. Joey Shaw. But he's also Valley had some of those games where he's not produced as well, and that's part of why Kelvin Sampson not able to play him as much as perhaps Shaw would like. Price guided by Callaway. Callaway. Across town traffic, Callaway. Wilmot picks up his dribble. Price getting back and cutting him off. Connecticut up by a penny. Under a minute to play here in the first. DJ White draws a double. And draws a five. Jonathan Mann. 
Randall, though. Freshman from Stone Mountain, Georgia. With the Hargrave Military Institute. Ball for the foul. It's a good job by D.J. White to take his time, feel the defender, and then go right into him. Free throw good for White. Solid first half for D.J. DJ. Better than solid first half. 16 points. Yeah, he's producing at a high level. He's averaged 17 points a game on close to 60% shooting in his last four ball games, Gus. As I mentioned earlier, just speaking to him briefly before today's game, he said it's just a matter of confidence. When a player is hurt and he misses time, it takes a while for him to get back to the level he was before. So DJ didn't really play much last year. He was terrific as a freshman. And even though he started this season in good shape and ready to go, game competition is required to sharpen up your game completely. The Big Ten freshman of the year. This ball, Robinson, look at him, get up. Callaway chasing it down. They got Picked numbers here. Dyson. They lob it. Kelly can't hold on. Here's Callaway. He's got Wilmot in his hip pocket. Wilmot to the bucket, and it goes off of his knee out of bounds. But Jim Burr calls a foul. And Dyson picks up the foul. By the way, we have three terrific officials calling this game today. Jim Burr, Ed Corbett, and Reggie Greenwood. As Wilmot hits the first. Substitute coming in, Mike White replaces DJ White. And DJ White leaves with 17 points on six of 12 shooting. Two rebounds. Roderick Wilmot has increased his rebound average from a career three rebounds per game guy to six rebounds per game this year. Calvin Sampson challenged him to shoot the three with confidence and rebound the ball with strength. Wiggins shooting with confidence, and that's the end of the first half, and we have a tie ball game. Connecticut down by as many as 14, storming back. Robinson with 11 points. 39-39 the score. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel in New York with singular at the half after these messages. You're watching CBS Sports, home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. Way back then, we had the horse and carriage. There was no television then. People listen to the radio. Get the clothes out, wash them on the washboard. And then the calculators got smaller and smaller. 45 would drop and it would play. If you held the rabbit ears in exactly the right position. I used to have to parallel park myself. When I signed up for Vonage, I was able to keep my phone number, and then when I moved, I was able to take it with me. Call quality is the utmost. It projects my business. And with Vonage, it's perfect. Vonage and reliability, that just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long distance calling, including free calls to Canada and Europe. Get one month free. Call 1-800-989-4VON. Vonage, a better way to phone for less. This hurts more than shopping for auto. Insurance takes the pain out of it. But I need collision coverage now. With some of the fastest quotes on the web, insurance makes it easy to save on auto insurance. That's why thousands of drivers switch to insurance every week. Insurance has got you covered in every season. Whoa, I Touchdown! If you're on the go, you've got to have insurance. Get your fast, free auto insurance quote. Visit insurance.com today. Coming up on Singular at the half, all of today's action, including Alabama's questionable last second win over Georgia. Seth Davis joins me after this message and a word from your local station. When I wear black, I don't want flakes, but I do want healthy hair. Then switch to Selsun Blue Salon. So soft, so rich. No flakes, no itch. Maximum dandruff relief, rich with vitamins and moisturizers. Selsun Blue Salon. Never wear black without the blue. I'll have the green bean fries, the ribs, and the Oreo cake. Oh, no, wait, the bruschetta chicken parmesan. Mahi-mahi. Maybe I should do the turkey burger. Friday's three-course menu is back with 210 possible combinations, just 12 dollars 
Brady and the Pats, Peyton and the Colts, the AFC Championship Sunday on CBS. And when it's done, the winner is going to Super Bowl 41. A television executive murdered, a killer secret revealed tonight. We are CBS 44 WEVV. It's a well-known fact that Tironi's Pizza with two locations been satisfying the taste of tri-state pizza lovers for over 30 years. Come enjoy Tironi's award-winning, unique, and traditional style beers. They're brewed on site at Tironi's Main Street Brewery by their professionally trained brewmaster, winner of four medals, including gold in the Professional Brewers' Cup competition. A perfect combination, Tironi's Pizza and freshly brewed beer for lunch or dinner at Tironi's with expanded parking and drive through windows at both restaurants. When you're looking for an uncommon university, where it's not just what you know, but what you do, where active leadership prepares you for your future, you'll find us. Indiana State University. Check out ISU scholarships online. Go to indstate.edu. The admission scholarship deadline is March 1st. Indiana State University. More from day one. You may think these are chocolate dipped cones from Dairy Queen, but look closer and you'll see two juicy DQ cheeseburgers. Now two for just $2.22. Look closer still and you'll see two beefy double cheeseburgers for $3.33. Great treats and great food. At DQ, there's more than one way to treat yourself when you look a little closer. And finish off with a DQ Blizzard of the Month. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Singular at the Half. I'm Greg Gumbel. Our score in Hartford is 39-39. They're tied. I'm joined by Seth Davis of Sports Illustrated. This bodes well for a Huskies team that you're used to seeing ranked among the top teams in the country. Well, no question. And the fact that they only have eight points off turnovers right now, so they've been able to score in their half court. What's really shocking is that UConn is plus 10 on the boards. I promise you that is a topic of conversation right now <laughs> in Kelvin Sampson's locker room. All right, Seth, let's get you around to uh, other games on the scoreboard. 16th ranked LSU taking on Arkansas. LSU's Garrett Temple. Glenn Davis, nice moves by the big man. First bucket of the game on the turnaround hook. Yeah, it's been uh, pretty much all Arkansas here in the first half. This is Patrick Beverly drops back and nails a three. The Razorbacks shooting 59% from the floor. That's Gary Irvin going the distance for the layup. LSU's got to tighten up that D if they want to win. Arkansas trying to snap a three-game losing streak. They lead it 39-26 at the break. Wisconsin at Illinois. Boy, it's nice if you're the Badgers to have Alondo Tucker on your team. Nice move inside, off the glass. 33-28 Badgers at this point. Ooh, it's a kiss there, Gregory. And the Illini's Rich McBride pulls up, makes the three. And uh, Illinois played very well here. But in the end, too much camera on Taylor and the Badgers. Taylor had a game-high 20 points. And Wisconsin has now won 15 straight. And it's first in Champaign in eight tries. Arizona at number three, UCLA. UCLA sophomore forward, Luke Richard and Bahamute sitting this game out due to injury. Lorenzo Mata. Can you get any more wide open for two? Where was the inside D there? And this is Marcus Williams for Arizona. Gets the matchup drive to the hoop, puts in the easy bank shot. Arizona trying to rebound from that loss at USC. So far, not so good. Aaron Aflalo has 10 points. Arizona shooting poorly in this game. Kansas at Texas Tech. Jayhawks' Mario Chalmers makes the steal. Usually makes it easy at the other end in a bucket for Kansas. And for Texas Tech, Michael Prince going to pass it down to Daryl Dora. Lays it in easily. Kansas up by two at that point. And this is uh, Julian Wright with the long jumper. That put him up by four. Texas Tech leads it by four. 28-24 coming up on three and a half to play in the first. Duke at NC State. Duke guard Greg Paulus will uh, feed down loaded to Marcus Nelson. No, it won't. Duke, North Carolina State at halftime. It's NC State trailing 41 to 25. And Vanderbilt is at Kentucky. And uh, the Commodores, with just a minute six to play, leading the Wildcats by a score of 65 to 59. Coming up, we'll tell you about Alabama's dramatic and controversial last second win when singular at the half continues. Hello, I'm a PC. And I'm a Mac. Hey, Mac, why so down? It's because you're so much better than me, PC. Ah, oh, there, there, friend. Uh, it's no use. You're first class all the way, PC. 
Yeah, but I read somewhere that you're getting more popular all the time. Now, is that true? No, totally untrue. Uh, I thought so. Wow. <laughs> What's going on? What the? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hey, I'm a big fan. It's not easy going it alone. That's why we're making it easier than ever to get a State Farm agent for car insurance. Call an agent's office 24-7. Stop by or go to statefarm.com to get an agent who's there for you. Online, on the phone, or in the office. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What's red hot in Indiana? What else? Newsweek says it's Indiana University. Check us out at indiana.edu. Great pick. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half. Sponsored by Singular. Raising the bar. Welcome back to Singular at the Half, everyone. Greg Dumble along with Seth Davis. Let's get you right to the college basketball scoreboard. Georgia at Alabama. Sunday out of Gaines driving inside. will feed to Case Brown for the late bucket. These two teams were tied at 76. Kevin Harlan in the final moments. Steal held by Gaines. Oh! Alabama has won! Alabama has won! And it was a big time shot, but watch his right foot, Greg. That's Steele's pivot foot. It comes up as he launches the game winner. Clearly a travel. Dennis Belton was furious, but Alabama got the win. It's a little early in the year for the worst call, non call of the season. <laughs> so isn't far. 78 76, Alabama. Chevy MVP, Sunday out of Gaines of Georgia, and Mikhail Riley of Alabama. Number 21, Texas, with a visit to Villanova against the Wildcats. Curtis Sumter on the bench for Nova in this game with the bone contusion to his leg. Teach J DJ Augustine with the assist for Kevin Durant there. And this is Mike Nardi with the long three, taking the assist from Scotty Reynolds. Reynolds was brilliant. That's Dante Cunningham with two of his 16, and Nardi again. But Kevin Durant, only one point in the second half, and Villanova without Curtis Sumter gets the win. You said Scotty Reynolds was brilliant. Yeah, game high 26. Ole Miss at number one, Florida to play the Gators. Gators on the run. Torian Green, long alley oop for Corey Brewer. Florida up 24 13. And then Florida on the break again. Green with the steal of court. Ahead to Joe Kim Noah. He had a season high 24 points today. Here, the follow up putback. Ole Miss made a run there in the second half, but Florida put him away. And Ole Miss has now lost 12 straight games to a ranked opponent. At number 19, Clemson. Clemson's James Mays follows up dunk off Vernon Hamilton miss. And this is Clemson's Sam Perry with the putback dunk off the James Mays miss. And obviously, BC's interior defense a lot weaker now with Sean Williams gone for the year. That was their first ACC loss this season. Clemson hit nine three-pointers. They break a two-game losing streak. And at Cincinnati, the Bearcats and West Virginia went to overtime. Cincinnati's Marvin Gentry averages six points a game. He exploded for 32 in OT. The Bearcats went at 96 to 83. We remind you, the road to the Final Four continues tomorrow at 3 Eastern. Marquette takes on Pittsburgh. And be sure to log on to CBS Sportsline.
sideline for an all-star team of college basketball analysts, including the new voice for CBS Sportsline, Gary Parrish, and CBS Sports' own Clark Kellogg. That's all on CBSSportsline.com. One final note for you. Tune in tomorrow for the AFC Championship game between the New England Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts. Our coverage begins at 6 o'clock Eastern time with the NFL Today. And singular at the half will continue in just a moment. Still getting dandruff? Neutrogena T Gel Shampoo helps eliminate dandruff starting after just one use. T Gel Shampoo. It works. Neutrogena. When work hurts, you need relief that fits the pain. The Icy Hot Sleeve, joint hugging relief that starts icy to dull the pain, then gets hot to relax it away. The Icy Hot Sleeve. Hard work and relief that fits the pain. With Dell, no middlemen means no runaround. So nothing slows my business down. I get just the technology I want from someone who's always there to answer for it. No excuses. And that's what I really needed. A partner who's as quick and responsive as the bikes we build. It's your enterprise, so every Dell solution is purely you. Well, the Garden's the best place to play college basketball in the country anyway. For a regular season or any game, it's just an exciting place. But at the tournament time, uh, it's the best place to have a tournament. It kind of reminds me of the old days when the NIT was at the Garden, and coming to New York is where you proved yourself. And the Big East is the same way. I truly know what it's all about, the tradition and the history of the place, and 25 years is quite special for the Big East. This is the greatest city in the world, and I truly believe that Madison Square Garden is the mecca of basketball in the world. Catch every game of the first three rounds in their entirety with Mega March Madness as DirecTV supplements CBS's coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. Don't miss music's biggest night, the Grammys, CBS Sunday, February 11th. We are CBS 44 WEVV. Hey, Spark. Since the Overhead Door Company makes the original overhead door, the people who install and service them take them pretty seriously. Call or log on for the overhead door dealer nearest you. Archie and Clive's Rock a Bar and Restaurant in Newburgh is really your kind of place. That famous Rock a Bar pizza, the tasty Italian salad, Danny's Gyro sandwich, and so much more. Open daily Monday through Saturday for lunch at 11 a.m. It's Archie and Clive's Rock a Bar Newburgh with all your favorite drinks and all those big ball games too. Lunch or dinner for the whole family is now at Archie and Clive's Rock a Bar Newburgh. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Lexus and their pursuit of perfection. Dell, business solutions designed for one company in mind. Yours, Dell, purely you. And by Smith Barney. Come to Smith Barney where wealth works. Welcome back to Hartford as we take a look at the halftime stats our game tied at 39 apiece well you see the three-point shooting indiana made their first five second chance points a big part of why this game is tied up after uconn trailed big early dj white perhaps on his way to a career high a new career high 17 points his career high is 23 and he did it inside and outside bench scoring uconn got 12 points from the bench stanley robinson though started and produced double digits but off the bench, A.J. Price, Marcus Johnson. There you see the numbers, Curtis Kelly. 12 to 3 points off the bench in favor of the Huskies. So we start the second half. UConn down by as many as 14 in the first half. Indiana off to a great start, especially from the three-point line. Five of eight overall for Indiana from downtown. But somehow, Connecticut able to shut down the three-point shooting. This man in the first half, especially early, Armand Bassett, three for three from downtown. Here's D.J. White posting up, draws a double T. And you got to swing it, reverse the ball, you should get a good shot. 
gets it. Good defensive recovery by the Huskies. Wilmot, seven to shoot. Wilmot from deep. And hits. Unlimited range for Roderick Wilmot, fifth year senior, 6 4. He has three threes in this game, 11 points. Mike White taking it away. Inside, Wilmot again lays it up and in. Indiana off to a quick beginning to start this second half. And Jim Calhoun doesn't like what he sees. He looks at the end of the bench and tells another one of his talented freshmen to get into the game. It'll be Curtis Kelly. Okay, see you later. After 89 years in the making, this is our truck. The 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all-new Chevy Silverado. Honey, look at this. Is it for all of us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The magic begins when you realize you can afford a Disney vacation. Other affordable packages all year long. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash affordable. Out of the 39,000 men and women who make up the United States Coast Guard, there are only 280 rescue swimmers. We are the Coast Guard's elite. No matter what happens out there, you stay together. How do you choose who lives? Save the ones you can. Go! The Guardian on DVD, packed with bonus features, including an alternate ending and a tribute to the real-life heroes of the Coast Guard. I think Katrina brought out what a Coast Guard rescue swimmer is. The Guardian, owned it on DVD and Blu-ray disc, January 23rd. Audrey and I, we compromised. She wanted to get a cat. I didn't want to get a cat, so we compromised and got a cat. Rules of Engagement premieres Monday, February 5th. Tomorrow, the big game before the big game. The NFL on CBS hits the last stop before Miami when Tom Brady and the Pats take on Peyton Manning and the Colts in the AFC Championship. The hoopla begins with Greg, Dan, Shannon, and the boom on a special playoff edition of the NFL today here on the home of Super Bowl 41, CBS Sports. As you take a look at the season comparison, Excuse me, James Brown, of course, doing the NFL today. Tomorrow, here on CBS. Inside, Kelly. Dyson. And the beat with the rebound goes out of bounds. Forty-four to thirty-nine, Indiana on top of Connecticut. Eighteen thirty to play in the second half, and here come the Hoosiers. DJ White posting up. He's got the beat on his back. The beat playing with two fouls. White backs him down. He's lined. Here comes Wiggins in the front court. The beat, and he will go to the line. Nice job by the big fella to do what we call in the business rim run right to the front of the rim. So that sends young Hashim Thabit, freshman from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Tanzania, a country in East Africa, right off the Indian Ocean between Kenya and Mozambique. 
two free throws. Young man played his high school basketball in Houston, Texas. Didn't start playing basketball until he was about 14, 15 years old. And if you're not familiar with Tanzania, they are known for their mining, diamonds, coal, natural gas, also tourism. Mount Kilimanjaro is there, Lake Victoria, and the Serengeti. I know you sometimes want to go on a safari so you talk to Mr. Thabit. Are you, well, you going to hang out with safari. me? No, 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 no. no. Lions and tigers, not my thing. But your <laughs> curiosity typically gets the best of you. That is true. Yeah, so I would think you would overlook lions and tigers and bears and so forth and allow your curiosity to broaden your horizons. Oh my, that's a good That's a you good one. think about it? I'm going to think about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Galloway call for the foul. Four point lead for Indiana. Al Robinson off the dribble. Oh, he has been impressive. He's a star in waiting, you can see it. The live body, the aggressiveness, the confidence. Plays both ends of the floor. Terrific attitude. Sometimes it just jumps out at you, but his kind of skill set and work ethic. Doing a terrific job so far here today. He has 13. Inside, Callaway, 14 to shoot. Pass it hard to the bucket. Dumps it down. Mike White lost it and a foul. Curtis Kelly picks up the foul as third. Jeff Adrian checking back into the game. And he replaces Curtis Kelly. Callaway, the inbounder on the baseline. Mike White somehow wide open. And he lays it up and in. So strong. Boy, he carved out some space in there, but a miscommunication. As you observed there, Gus, he got loose right underneath the goal. Mike White with four points now. Expect Indiana to play through DJ White. He's going to get the bulk of the shots when he's out on the floor. But timely contributions from the other guys is very important for Indiana's success behind the three point line or getting some opportunities in the paint. So the beat now going to the line. White ball for a second foul. That's DJ White call for a second foul. How about Hashim Thabit had a very solid game against St. John's. 12 points, 10 rebounds, 7 blocked shots. And you know, coming into this game, Gus, he had blocked over 60 shots, but had only committed 38 fouls. That tells you a little bit about his timing and obviously his size. That helps, but he's done a nice job of denying shots without committing fouls. Speaks multiple languages, Swahili, the native tongue of Tanzania. Both free throws off the mark. Bassett, get it back to Callaway. Joined by Wilmot, DJ White, and Mike White. I think DJ White can be effective trying to turn and face the beat away from the goal. No double team. Connecticut's perimeter guy staying at home, and that means Callaway gets a look. Snaps out of there by Robinson. Outlet pass to Wiggins. In motion. Jump stop. 17-footer off the heel. Wilmot with the rebound. Callaway had a steam, and he'll peel it back. Almost turned it over. Bassett picks it up. Stolen. To the bucket. Bam. Jerome Dyson makes it a two-point game, 46 to 44. Wilmot, deep jump shot, kill. Woo! Four threes for Roderick Wilmot. And Indiana takes a 49 to 44 lead. Wilmot with the steal, runs into Jim Burr and gets a timeout. Jim Burr apologizing to Kelvin Sampson. 49-44, back right after this. Look at you, who sent you those? Pat, I can't believe he sent you flowers. <gasps> After all the terrible things I said about that guy, and his mom, and his, his technique. <laughs> well, maybe he's a really nice guy. The world of light beer. Roses, and daisies, and... Spirit. Girl, that's poison ivy. Just got a little darker.
Michelob Ultra Amber. With its deep amber color and full flavored taste, it's the new look of light beer. I sent that one yesterday. That's poison oak. Without a trace, CBS Sundays. Win free gas only on WEBV.com. Now this is real pan pizza. Sure tastes better than Domino's. And Papa John's. More toppings, too. I should go. Me too. <clears throat> it's true. America preferred Pizza Hut pan pizza almost two to one in a national taste test. And to celebrate, Pizza Hut is offering any pan pizza, any toppings for just 10 bucks. Want more taste? Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. Don't forget to order a side of wings with all your Pizza Hut orders. Paul's Pharmacy is Evansville's hometown friendly pharmacy. Personal attention is our specialty. Paul's is the preferred pharmacy for long-term and assisted living care. The pharmacists at Paul's are specially trained in diabetic counseling and pain management. Plus, we have two certified geriatric pharmacists on staff. From compounding individual dosages to helping set up patient assistant programs, we take the time to provide the care you need. Whether you need over-the-counter or complex prescription medications, choose Paul's Pharmacy. Two convenient locations, and we deliver, too. Two-timing son of a... Honey, <laughs> what are you doing? We can fix anything. Leffler, Collision, Glass and Mechanical, Evansville and Mount Vernon. And you wonder why Kelvin Sampson's teams are always very intense. Well, look at his demeanor on the sideline. That's how he is in practice. That's how he is all the time. He teaches with the tenacity, and it rubs off on his teams. It's evident you made the point in the first half. Hasn't rubbed off on the rebounds, though, because they've been pummeled on the glass. When you look at the, you look at the game to this point, three-point shooting. You knew Indiana was going to look at the three-point shot, and they're an excellent three-point shooting team. They've already made two of three in this half, but UConn has been able to stay close because they've gotten second shot opportunities. At halftime, they had taken ten more shots than Indiana because of the offensive rebound. Foul called on Jerome Dyson as he picks up his second, trying to press Callaway, and now Dyson and D.J. White staring each other down. He's a former football player in Rockville, Maryland. So he's a tough young man. 49 to 44, IU. Trust, it's everything. Nobody hands out trust. Talent is one thing. Combine talent with people you trust, and you will walk on that court with a level of respect no one can match. The Hartford, a company built on 195 years of trust. Ask your advisor what the Hartford can do to help you plan for your future. Because you're not preparing to retire, you're preparing to live. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, it's conference crunch time as the Marquette Golden Eagles battle the number six Pittsburgh Panthers in a Big East bash. That's right here on CBS Sports, home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. And Pittsburgh has a young man that I love watching play. He's out of Zavarian High School in Brooklyn, New York. LeVance Fields, sweet little point guard. Well, you see Jim Calhoun there. I had a chance to visit with him after practice. And because of the high profile he has as a Hall of Fame coach, he's using that to bring attention to autism. Two of his grandchildren affected by autism, which is a neurobiological disorder that affects the developmental ability and capabilities of, of youngsters. And the symbol is a puzzle piece because kids that are affected by autism typically have a tough time putting things together, communicating, relating to others. There's no known cure or treatment other than a variety of special education programs. And Jim Calhoun, again, and you see George Blaney and Coach Calhoun with the symbol. And uh, like many coaches and folks that have causes dear to their heart, they use their sphere of influence to, to bring attention to a worthy cause. Isaiah Thomas, the former Indiana star, also wears that pin as he coaches in professional basketball. And Wilmot with a strong move to the basket. He had eight points in the first half. 
He now has 18. He's got 10 here in the first five minutes of this second half. The beat posting up, they look away. So now Wiggins, back door. Dyson lays it to the beat, has it stripped out of his hands, and he's fouled. And perhaps another few weeks, or perhaps next year this time, that's a punch and a foul. And perhaps Wilmot is in the hoop as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wilmot picks up his third foul. Big foul there because Wilmot has been terrific here in this first five minutes and ten seconds of the second half. And the beat, as the Yukon Huskies as a team do, struggling from the line. And you need all of that cheese from the line when you're behind and you're getting scoring opportunities from the free throw line. The beat just one of five. Good looking stroke there and he cashes it in. UConn as a team shoots 64% from the free throw line, but they have eight freshmen and five sophomores. Very young ball club. Bassett. DJ White draws a double. Bassett with a step. Has it knocked out of his hands by Adrian. A.J. Price the other way, leaves it, Marcus Johnson. Baseline, Robinson, pump fake, watch out! Stanley Robinson, what a tremendous athlete. He has 15 points. 51-47, Indiana, Callaway, big jump shot there. It's a three. I'll tell you what, the two seniors, Wilmot and Callaway doing what you expect seniors to do, especially on the road, lead and make big shots. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best, Chevy and American Revolution. Adrian at the line. Mike White called for the foul, and that's his third. And that is the team's fifth, Gus. And with 13.49 left on the clock, UConn has only committed two team fouls. Indiana has committed five, so if Connecticut can continue to attack the basket and get into the bonus, despite the 64% free throw shooting number as a team, it would serve them well as they try to come back from a deficit to be able to get to the line and put Indiana in some foul trouble. Both free throws good for Adrian. Lance Stemmler has checked in, placing Mike White. 54 to 49. Indiana, very impressive. They've won four straight, eight of their last nine. Their only losses this season. Butler, Duke, Kentucky, Ohio State. Great position. DJ White hits the jump shot over the beat. DJ White with 19 points. Remember, Gus, his career high is 23, which he just had in the game against Iowa. Very close to being able to. Oh, not a good shot there. But good offensive rebound again. That's yeah. Jeff Adrian this time. Boy, they are doing a job on the offensive glass. I mean, that's what we call buffet style. <laughs> Plenty of seconds. 14, All you want to eat. 14 second chance points for Connecticut. Galloway, White slips to the baseline, lets it go, short, way short. Price maneuvering, this time he'll drive and dish, and a whistle and foul on the floor. But a big day for Stanley Robinson. And only his third start, showing you why Jim Calhoun elected to put him in the starting five. A lot of bounce, good touch. Used a nice ball fake there to get to the rim on that dunk. That's what was impressive. He showed the ball, got the defender to join the paratroopers club, and then walked right to the rim. Now Price. Adrian posting up. They can't get it to him. Robinson slips to the baseline. Almost stolen by Wilmot. Price, hesitation to the bucket, and a draw foul. That is the seventh team foul 
on a nice pause and park them dribble by A.J. Price. Indiana, uh, keep uh, this in mind, because 12-21 to go. And Indiana is over foul. the limit. That means That's UConn that. shoots free throws on every Price. common foul from here on out. They've got to be aggressive in taking the ball to the rim to try to get themselves to the foul line. Price misses the first Monday on CBS. See why two and a half men is TV's number one comedy. Don't miss an all-new episode of the People's Choice Award winner Monday on CBS. AJ Price. His dad, Tony, played at Penn, went to the Final Four in 79. Second free throw goes down. 56-52. Hoosiers are playing with a lot of poise on the road today. They really are. We talked about that in our singular keys, poise and perimeter shooting, doing a nice job in both areas so far. Well, Curtis Kelly and DJ White have a nice little battle of getting to know each other down in that low post area. Will Mott. Off the mark, Stemler with the rebound. Kicks it out. Callaway resets. That's a smart point guard there. Senior. Well, in practice yesterday, Kelvin Sampson was on Earl Callaway about leading the team. Not just running the offense, but lead your team. Give them what they need from your position. And that was a good example of it there. Setting them up and resetting their offense. And a foul called inside against Kelly. Kelly and DJ White really banging each other. Fourth foul on Curtis Kelly. 11.27 to play, 56-52 IU. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. Available with a 315 horsepower engine and 22 EPA estimated highway miles per gallon. No other pickup delivers both. No wonder it's the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all-new Chevy Silverado. For the independent investor, TD Ameritrade has proprietary tools like trade triggers. It lets you place trades automatically even when you're away from the computer. And Market Motion Detector, a tool that shows the speed of price and volume movements. Tools for the long-term investor. Tools for the active trader. Tools for independence. TD Ameritrade. Independence is the spirit that drives America's most successful investors. Between my two phone bills, it's probably about $60 a month. About $150. Probably 100 bucks a month. With Vonage, you get unlimited calls to anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, and all the cool features you could ever want are included. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long-distance calling, including free calls to Canada and Europe. Call 1-800-99-4-VON and get one month free. Vonage, a better way to phone for less. Monday. Paint me. What? It's a comic masterpiece. I don't think your sword will fit. <laughs> I get that a lot. On an all nude How I Met Your Mother. Then, does abstinence make the heart grow fonder? This will be a really positive experience. I had this experience till I was 19. Wasn't that positive? The class after How I Met Your Mother. New episode CBS Monday. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Vonage, a better way to phone for less. Disney Parks, come live your dreams during the year of a million dreams. Don't miss it. And by Chevrolet, an American revolution. Let's take a look at the Big Ten standings. Wisconsin and Ohio State class teams in this conference in Indiana, Michigan. Michigan State, I would throw in there. They've not been healthy. Tom Izzo's club has not been healthy, but if they could get it right, they can get Raymond Morgan back going. Uh, Maurice Joseph, then you look at the bottom four here. Purdue is much improved despite the two and four record. Penn State is better. Um, I would expect Minnesota and Northwestern to struggle to get outside of that bottom tier in the league. But in the middle, when you look at Michigan, Michigan State, Iowa, Purdue, Penn State, 
couple of those teams could emerge and get into the upper division. I think Indiana right now is playing the best of any of those other teams outside of Wisconsin. State, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Illinois is, has struggled to this point. And just don't know if they're going to be able to get it turned around. Or Michigan defeating Purdue today by 16. And Tommy Amico's team. Yeah, some very nice pieces. They do. They've got experience. Lester Abram, Courtney Sims, Deion Harris, Petway. It's just a matter of them being consistent. And if they are, then I think they could maybe warn the tournament bid before we get to selection Sunday. We'll see how that plays out. They're an intriguing team. They were close last season. Mm -hmm. Very close. Adrian. Who's your foul? 22. Fouled by Stemmler. That's his second. Mike Second White checks in. Stemmler heads to the bench. And that will send Adrian to the line. And you brought up a great point not too long ago. Indiana over the limit at the 12-21 mark of the second half. We have 10-51 to go. And Adrian is there ready to shoot free throws. Off the mark. Got to make it. That's the front end of a one-and-one. One. But Adrian missed, and the ball goes back to Indiana. Kind of lull in the action right now mm -hmm. for both teams. As each team tries to find its rhythm. Changing defenses. Wilmot in the corner, passed up a jump shot. He had a crease. DJ White draws a double. Callaway backs it up. 10 to shoot. Wilmot curling down the lane. What a shot. He's got to hurry. Wilmot forces it up. And that's a shot clock violation. Nine turnovers for the Hoosiers. Skelman Sampson tries to keep his team motivated. Well, good job defensively that time, Gus, by UConn. In practice, Jim Calhoun really encouraging his team to stay on their feet, to challenge shooters, but to stay on your feet. Nice job of that there, on that defensive stand. Nice and inside. That's a tough shot there. Well done. He had good balance, a strong base, and made a nice finish in track. Jerome Dyson, eight points, and here comes the crowd. They've been waiting. Two-point game, under 10 to go. Hartford, Connecticut. Callaway. Jay White. Shaw. Weak side rebound, Adrian. Muskies can tie it up right here. Wiggins pushing it. Straight to the bucket. Wiggins. Dumps it down for beat. Good catch, big fella. And we're tied at 56. Excellent penetration, but the point you make is a good one, Gus. That was a nice catch by the big fella. That wasn't an ideal pass, but he found a way to handle it. Six points with the beat, and we're tied at 56. Nine minutes to play in the second half. The Big Ten versus the Big East on CBS. D.J. White, turnaround jump shot in motion. Well, you love the way Indiana plays through its best player. Twice now this half, when the crowd has started to get into it a bit, and Indiana has needed a hoop, they found D.J., and he's gone to work. 21 for White. Dyson off balance shot. And Mike White comes up with the rebound. I like Mike White's game. Mm -hmm. He's rugged inside. And a whistle and foul. As Joey Shaw will go to the line and shoot two. DJ White, perhaps on his way to a new career high, showing you his nice feathery touch. And they've really given him some good scoring opportunities. There you see his numbers. He's yet to miss a free throw, which is something you always like to see with a guy who's going to have it as much as he has it during the course of a ball game. D.J. White coming off back-to-back double-doubles. We talked about how he played against Iowa with 23 and 12. He had 14 and 11 against Penn State. And the junior from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, checks out of the game. Nice move here by Kelvin Sampson. You know, the UConn bench really had its way in that first half. 
Kelvin Sampson, I think, trying to buy DJ some additional rest time. We've got the under eight media timeout coming up. We're getting south of, of eight minutes, and it'll buy DJ some additional time as you go down the stretch. And hopefully, Kelvin can get some contribution from his bench, but the problem of the day for Indiana has been on their defensive board. Adrian with the tap in. And Wiggins almost came up with a steal. Two-point game. 8.05 to play. Second half. Inside. Shaw. Forced it up. No. Loose. Picked up. Pass it. And Indiana gets a new shot clock. Ben Allen has checked in. He's a sophomore from Melbourne, Australia. Pass it off the dribble. Gets his own rebound. A teardrop on the baseline now. Adrian battling. Claims a rebound. Wiggins. Marcus Johnson. Stop and start. And a whistle. Holding foul on the baseline. Looks like this will go against A.J. Ratlin. 7.35 to play second half. IU holding on to a two-point lead. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. Trucks with up to 367 horsepower and 10,500 pounds towing capacity. Trucks with rear doors that can open 170 degrees. All backed by the best coverage in America. That's why it's the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all-new Chevy Silverado. This is our country. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Biz Hub. Biz Hub? Yeah, it's a... Color printer, it's a copier, and it's a scanner. Oh, you can email stuff right from the Biz Hub. Right, it's also an email blur. <clears throat> cool, Biz Hub stores your forms and documents. Oh, it stores them all right. Down here, I think. I think it stores them digitally. <laughs> Yeah. Do business better with award-winning color. Get details and free print samples at bizhub.tv. And it's got faxing and duplexing and stapling. Well, my credit card miles expired, but don't worry. Daddy's got a plan. Orlando, here we come. Is there meal service on this flight? Oh, yummy. Who wants some? Hang on. Bow weevil. <laughs> We should have switched to Capital One. Get Capital One's no hassle rewards with no miles expiration or in caps and no blackout dates. <laughs> oh, that's different. What's in your wallet? Still getting dandruff? Neutrogena T-Gel Shampoo helps eliminate dandruff starting after just one use. T-Gel Shampoo. It works. Neutrogena. I'll have the green bean fries, the ribs, and the Oreo cake. Oh, no, wait, the bruschetta chicken parmesan. Mahi-mahi. Maybe I should do the turkey burger. Friday's three-course menu is back with 210 possible combinations, just $12.99. Welcome back as we take a look at the summary by half. Yeah, you look at what Indiana has done, 48%. Three-point shooting still reasonably good. Turnovers have been low both ways. Bench points, a big change. UConn only one point off the bench. So looking forward, thinking about what has to happen the rest of the way. For Connecticut, they've got to try to cash in from the strike. They're only 5 of 11 from the line, and they're going to shoot free throws the rest of the way on any common foul. Indiana has to somehow find a way to come up with defensive rebounds, take that part of the game away from Connecticut, and still execute their half-court offense through D.J. White. And you have to compliment both of these teams. Indiana playing extremely well on the road, showing all sorts of poise. Connecticut, after getting down by as many as 14, fighting their way back into this game to take the lead, and they've stayed right around. Well, they've hung around, rather. Mm -hmm. Down by two. Another front end of a one and one miss. That's twice now since they've been in the bonus, where they didn't even earn the second opportunity at the strike. 60, 58. Ratliff to DJ White back in the game. Backs up on the beat in the corner. Bassett rims off. Robinson clears it. Well, that was well executed by Indiana. Play through White. 
He draws attention, had a nice kick out pass, and Bassett, who was on fire earlier, just didn't knock it down. But that's good offensive execution by Indiana. Eight rebounds for Robinson. Wiggins feeds the post. Adrian. Inside. And he's tied up. Possession arrow favors. UConn. Monday on The Late Show, Dave's all new with Kevin Spacey, plus Alicia Keys. And later this week, don't miss Howard Stern and Clint Eastwood. David Letterman. Wiggins the inbounder. Robinson on the hop. And he's fouled. Wilmot fouling him on the elbow. And Wilmot just came into the game, Gus. He had been sitting with three fouls. So now he has four PFs. And it'll be interesting to see what Kelvin Sampson decides to do with Wilmot. I don't think he can afford to sit him down. He's got to trust that his fifth year senior to be able to play That's aggressively and smartly with four, four fouls. So when you have four fouls, 6.48 to go, and you want to stay in the game and play relatively good defense, what do you do? How do you approach Move your feet. Don't reach. Just don't reach in. Move your feet. Be smart. Try to beat your guy to a spot, but don't do any reaching. Tie game, 60 apiece. Full court pressure now by Connecticut. Bassett. Brings it up the floor, guarded by another freshman, Wiggins. Wilmot. DJ White, inside, nice look, Mike White. Great pass between the White brothers. Yeah, it sure was, and the double team was late and soft. And DJ had all kind of time to find the open guy. I mean, they left Mike White on a big-to-big -big double team. No rotation, no deflection, easy hoop for Indiana. Johnson weaving his way inside, and he knocks one down. To tie it at 62, eight points for Marcus Johnson. Shaw. Over dribble, Shaw, and a whistle, and foul. Well, we're going to take a look at Indiana beating the double team. Ball's going to get in here. Now watch Jeff Adrian. He's going to leave to double team right there, and that's going to leave Mike White free at the goal. Ball's inside. There's the double team. Wasn't done strongly, quickly, or with active hands, and DJ just had an easy, weak side pass to an open teammate. DJ White, his 27th assist on the season. 5.43 to play. Second half, our game is tied at 62. Indiana, out of the Big Ten Conference against Connecticut, out of the Big East. When you think about a non-conference matchup of this caliber at this time in the season, Connecticut and Indiana both would like to fortify their resumes with the win here today. Shaw slashing to the basket. Tough shot! What did I tell you about the book on him? Sneaky score. Just wow. has a knack. Adrian trying to pose. DJ White takes it right away. And as we approach five minutes, Indiana holds on to a two-point lead. Posted. He wants it to beat. Trying to front. Fourteen to shoot. Bassett fires short. Robinson with another rebound. His ninth. And a timeout call by Connecticut. 4:43 to play. Second half. Indiana with a 64-62 lead. Introducing Chase Freedom. It feels like no other credit card in the world. And it works like no other card, too. Feel free to choose cash back. And then change to points. And then change again, all with the same card and without losing a thing. That's freedom. Chase Freedom. Get it free at chase.com slash freedom. On a powerful new, without a trace, a young artist goes missing with a deadly secret. Anthony LaPaglia 
stars in a can't miss without a trace tomorrow after the game on CBS. As we take a look at the game reset, Indiana, one timeout left. Ten team fouls, Connecticut. Two timeouts. Possession arrow favoring the Hoosiers. The important number there, I think, is the double bonus already for UConn. And the additional fouls by Indiana, and they've still got one foul to give. That means two free throws instead of one and one for Connecticut. Zone defense out of the timeout by Indiana. Trying to protect themselves, I think, from fouling. And also trying to force perimeter shots from UConn. Adrian inside and a reach in foul coming up against Armand Bassett. Kelvin Sampson wondering why. Actually, they're going to call it on Joey Shaw, his third, and send Jeff Adrian to the line. A 58% free throw shooter. Adrian, 4 of 5 from the strike today. A little difference, though, when it's two shots come in and you know that versus one and one. That's the first. Here come a couple of subs, Dyson and Price. Replacing Robinson and Wiggins. Part of the book on Adrian, double-double man, and he's got another one today. Tied at 64. We've had seven ties in this team. Indiana. Callaway can't track it down, and the Hoosiers cracking a bit under this Connecticut pressure. Ten Earl, turnovers for Indiana. Earl Callaway is not 100%. He had that injury to his foot. I don't know if it's his ankle or if it's his foot, but clearly he's not at 100% effectiveness because you can see a bit of a limp in his gait. It's not an excuse, just the reality. He's not at his best. Hoosiers try to hide the injury on defense with that 2-3 zone. Dyson. Johnson inside. Adrian, any travel. Good call by Jim Burr on the baseline. 3.56 to play. Second half. We're tied at 64. Ah, this sure brings me back. To when? Five minutes ago? You never had that. Never had a Coke before? You think I've gone soft in That's the head? That's Coke Zero. The 13th president was Millard Fillmore. Uh, okay. Do you know what the capital of Djibouti is? My the capital of Djibouti is Djibouti. Don't try to tell me I've never had a Coke before. Got a mind like a steel trap. Da, 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 da. Enjoy Cokeness at MyCokeRewards.com. With Dell, no middlemen means no runaround. So nothing slows my business down. I get just the technology I want from someone who's always there to answer for it. No excuses. And that's what I really needed. A partner who's as quick and responsive as the bikes we build. It's your enterprise, so every Dell solution is purely you. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. Available with a 315 horsepower engine and 22 EPA estimated highway miles per gallon. No other pickup delivers both. No wonder it's the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. The all-new Chevy Silverado. This is our country. When I signed up for Vonage, I was able to keep my phone number, and then when I moved, I was able to take it with me. Call quality is the utmost. It projects my business. And with Vonage, it's perfect. Vonage and reliability, that just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long distance calling, including free calls to Canada and Europe. Get one month free. Call 1-800-989-4VON. Vonage, a better way to phone for less. Thursday on CBS to catch a killer, a CSI fakes a crime scene. 
Don't miss a new episode that could tear the team apart. Thursday on CBS. 3.56 to play in the second half. We're tied at 64. And you look at the numbers, DJ White, Roderick Wilmot leading the way, and how about Adrian and Robinson? Almost a pair of double-doubles there. Three-point shooting for Wilmot. Wilmot playing with the four fouls. So he's got to continue to, to be smart at the defensive end and aggressive. There you see the reset. Timeouts left. UConn has a pair. And they have one foul to give, which is important as you go down the stretch. You can still be aggressive and not worry about putting Indiana on the line on a non-shooting foul. There's Earl Callaway who has been less than 100% and he's a blur with the ball. He's a pest defensively, but he tweaked an ankle or a foot early in this ball game. And even though he has continued to play, he has not been at peak efficiency. Although he's had a solid floor game, just not able to be as creative as he would like to be. Hoosiers inbounding in the backcourt. Shaw turned it over the last time he had the basketball. And he'll get it over the midcourt line. Guarded by Marcus Johnson. Finds Armand Bassett, the freshman. That's a pick and roll with D.J. White. White posting, he wants it. Knocked away, Marcus Johnson on a steal. Back-to-back -back turnover for Joey Shaw. When you try to throw it to the post player, you have to throw it where the defenders aren't. You need ball fakes, strong with two hands. You have to look off that defender. You have to create the right angle. Entry passing, one of the lost arts in the... in basketball, rather. Mm -hmm. You're right, there. Wiggins crossing over, rise and fire. Marcus Johnson, rebound. Jeff Adrian at the line. Mike White called for the foul, his fourth. What a game in Hartford. It's the Big Ten versus the Big East. Indiana, red hot. Winners of four straight, eight of their last nine. Led by as many as 14 early on against this young Connecticut squad made up of eight freshmen and five sophomores. But Hall of Fame coach Jim Calhoun stayed the course, and the Huskies have fought their way back into this game as we watch them grow up in front of us. And they're doing it because they are pummeling Indiana on the glass. 20 second chance points for Indiana. I'm sorry, for UConn. DJ White has been terrific. He has 21, his career high 23. Wilmot down the lane, stripped out of bounds. He'll stay right here. Indiana has to make sure they find DJ White. DJ White has to make sure he aggressively begs for the ball. Mike White, and he will go to the line and shoot two. Second time in this game, Mike White has found himself alone under the basket on an out-of-bounds play. Just a lack of communication and inattentiveness by Connecticut. Mike White, a 57% free throw shooter. First one goes down. White making his first career start today in place of Lance Stemmler. And he's really come through. As the second free throw goes down, eight points for the young man from Spring Hill, Louisiana. And we're tied at 66. Indiana content to stay in this zone defense and try to make Connecticut beat him from the perimeter. But when the shot goes up, that's where UConn has done the bulk of its scoring, almost a third of its points. Have come off the offensive glass. Second chance opportunity. Ten to shoot. A lot of dribbling going on now for Connecticut. And they throw it inside. Robinson to the bucket. And he's fouled. Stanley Robinson. Coming out party for him this afternoon. 
Robinson with 17 points. And a foul called. That may be on Wilmot. Two ten to play. Game tied at 66. Connecticut and Indiana. Huskies heading to the free throw line, and Kelvin Sampson may have just lost his best player, his second best player in Roderick Wilmot. I think it may have been a misunderstanding. That foul may have been called on Armand Bassett, Gus, number one instead of one zero. And I think that's what we're waiting to have determined right now. Actually, 20, A.J. Ratliff, is he even on the floor? Actually, he isn't. Yeah, Ratliff's not even in the game. Penetration. That's where, well. Looks like Indiana catches a break. Robinson at the line. Gives Connecticut the lead. D.J. White. White has been given the foul. Connecticut with a two-point lead as they rise to their feet here in Hartford. Shaw has turned it over back-to-back -back times. Wilmot deep three. Got it! Oh, man! What a dagger for Wilmot as Indiana goes up 69-68. Five threes for Roderick Wilmot, the fifth-year senior. And IU gets back into the 2-3 zone. That was deep, Parker. Baseline, inside. Robinson forced it up and gets the box. Back and forth they go. 70-69. Crunch time here at Hartford. Bassett hands it off to Shaw. Wilmot, 20 to shoot. Dyson. Presses it. Wilmot off the dribble. 15 foot later, and he gets the bounce. 23 points for Wilmot. Indiana up by a penny. Under a minute to go. And a whistle and a timeout call by Connecticut. 54.3 remaining. Second half. We've got a one point game. Right now at Applebee's, your favorites are coming together. Appetizer, entree, and dessert. It's Applebee's original three-course combos. Sink into succulent shrimp and Parmesan sirloin. A creamy spinach dip and a dreamy dessert. Three courses, three combos. Applebee's three-course combos. Starting at $9.99. That's eating good in the neighborhood. There are the vital numbers. It is 71-70, Indiana, 54.3 seconds to go. Both teams with the timeout left. Both teams over the limit with fouls. Possession arrow belongs to the road team, Indiana. Roderick Wilmot has scored the last five for the Hoosiers. Stanley Robinson has been a factor here late and throughout this game for UConn. Against the zone, the Huskies have found gaps in there off pass penetration the last couple of times. Huskies need a bucket right here. Nine to shoot. Wiggins, the freshman, and he travels. It's a good call. With the 35.1 remaining. A tenth of a second difference on the game and the shot clock. In this situation, I think you give yourself a good eight to ten seconds, maybe even a few more than that, Gus, if you're Connecticut, to come up with a steal or force a turnover. And then if you get around 20 seconds or so, you got to think about foul. Maybe even you go half of this shot clock. Oh, they fouled immediately. I don't know if that was intended or not. 
Well, he has been outstanding all game long, but especially here in the second half. That's a big three that gave Indiana a lead. And after Connecticut had scored to retake the lead, Roderick Wilmot comes right back. Back-to-back -back hoops, a three, and an off-the-dribble two. There you see his numbers, 15 of his 23 here in the second half. Callaway at the line. One and one. And he hits the front end. 78% free throw shooter, Earl Callaway, has been the orchestrator this evening, or this afternoon, for IU. Oh, we're even. Oh, we're even. Six o'clock straight up all night. As the second one goes down, now Mike White checks in for Kelvin Sampson. 73 to 70, Indiana. 34.4 to go. You don't need a three here. If you get a good look, you take it, but you need something quick. You don't want to waste too much time. You're down. Robinson goes to the basket. Lost it. Loose into the hands of Avery, and then he's fine. Good job by Connecticut to attack quickly. And again, second shot opportunities. Keep them in things right now. So Adrian goes to the line. As Shaw picks up his fourth. Adrian, six of eight from the free throw line. Marcus Johnson checks in, replaces the beat. Callaway checks in. Mike White heads to the bench. DJ White. He remains in the game. Full court pressure now by UConn. 24.7 to go. Wilmot, the inbounder. Can he get it in? And he gets a timeout. That'll be their last one. 24.7 to go. 73-71. Indiana back after this. For those in the academic, medical, cultural, and research fields beginning to think about their financial future, we're TIAA-CREF. We have more than 85 years expertise building retirement plans just for you. Let our experience and personalized objective advice help you meet your retirement goals starting today. TIAA-CREF, financial services for the group. Code White, do you copy? Copy that. Hey. Need a lift? Yeah. Good thing I have insurance. I can report a claim 24-7. But he'll never get his car repaired out here. <laughs> Not true. With its direct repair program, insurance can always find your reliable body shop. But what if he had his own body shop? At insurance, it's your choice. If you're on the go, you've got to have insurance. Save on 24-7 claim service. Visit insurance.com today. We revisit the vital numbers once again for you folks. Indiana with no timeouts now. Both teams over the limit. Possession arrow belongs to Indiana. Indiana is forced to take the ball out underneath the Huskies basket with no timeouts remaining. So execution, solid screen setting, strong coming to the ball. So the Hoosiers come back onto the floor. Joey Shaw. Bassett, Callaway, Wilmot, and D.J. White. Joey Shaw, the inbounder, he's turned it over a couple of times in the second half. Robinson guards the ball. Remember, he's a tremendous athlete and can jump and almost touch the top of the roof here. Well, that inbounds pass has to be a very good one for Joey Shaw. Because it was after a made free throw, Joey Shaw can't move. And he finds Bassett. Bassett not fouled. And now they commit the foul. Johnson unable to come up with the steal, so Armand Bassett will go to the line. And he's a great free throw shooter for this team as a freshman, 80% on the season. This will be his first trip to the strike, Gus. He'll shoot one plus the bonus. It is different than number one. Having two to knock down, so. 
Big free throws here for the youngster. Great rotation on the free throw. Indiana trying to keep their streak alive and make this one five in a row. And he gets a pair. Connecticut has to hurry. Wiggins, 20 seconds to go. Wiggins crosses over to the basket, lays it up and in. With 15.6 remaining. Connecticut calls a timeout, 75-73. Show me something cool, man. Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Welcome to a network where anyone can be famous. Welcome to the human network. Well, you see bagels under the timeouts left for both teams. The fouls shoot on common fouls. Possession arrow Indiana's and significant game at this juncture in the season, particularly for, well, actually for both teams. I mean, Connecticut has lost four of their six, yet to have any kind of a signature non-conference win. I think Indiana's non-conference schedule much stronger than what Connecticut played this year, in part because Jim Calhoun had a very young team. But still, Indiana looking for a nice road win. Challenged Duke earlier this year in a competitive battle. Challenged Ohio State on the road to open Big Ten play a couple of weeks ago. Had a good win at Penn State, but this would carry a little more cachet to come into Hartford and get a win if they can hold on. Indiana showing great focus under Coach Sampson. 18 of 19 from the free throw line. Shaw the inbounder. No timeouts. He finds Wilmot. Wilmot to Bassett. And Bassett is fouled. Boy, it took a while to foul him. And Kelvin Sampson wanting the intentional foul. Well, let's see if, in fact, the Huskies did commit a foul that maybe was not seen. Let's see. Wilmot, no, he was just, no, that was just incidental contact. It just took a while for the Huskies to catch up with Bassett and commit the foul. Armand Bassett steps to the line. He needs to hit two big free throws here. 75-73. First one goes down. One more coming. Freshman from Terre Haute. And he gets a pair. 77 73. Wiggins quickly into the front court. Nine seconds left. Fires a jump shot off the mark. Loose. Shaw with the rebound. Throws it into the front court. Bassett, and that'll do it. Indiana comes into Hartford and knocks off Connecticut. 77 73 to improve their winning streak to five in a row. They've won nine of their last ten under Coach Sampson. Roderick Wilmot, Stanley Robinson are your Chevrolet players of the game in recognition of their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best. Chevy, an American revolution. So for Clark Kellogg, this is Gus Johnson saying so long from Hartford. Our final score once again, IU. Winning it 77 to 73 over UConn. Tonight on CBS, it's Cold Case and Numbers, followed by 48 Hours Mystery. Then tomorrow, it's the Pats and the Colts in the AFC Championship. And it all begins with a special AFC Championship edition of the NFL today, led by our James Brown. Big time win for Indiana under their first year coach, Kelvin Sampson. Five straight. And they look terrific as they'll get deeper into Big Ten play. This is Gus Johnson saying so long from Connecticut. <laughs>